Hello everybody, I am the Solar Gamer, and welcome back to Civilization V Brave New World as Netherlands. Yes! So, last episode, we wiped out the Ottomans. Finally! I can say that war is finally freaking over. That took way too long. But, we took every single one of the Ottoman cities, so they are completely gone now. Uh, we have everything. In fact, what did we take from them in the war? So let's take a look here. At, uh, I'm talking World Wonder-wise. So we have the Statue of Zeus, the Terracotta Army... I'm not going to explain what the World Wonders are, because that would just take way too long, and I want to get into this again. Uh, nothing here. A Dern. Probably something in a Dern. The Louvre, which has all of their uh, pieces here that will... Actually, what is this? World's Most Visited Museum. Really? So they actually filled this out. How do they do that? The AI are smart like that? Really? <laughs> That's interesting. All right. Uh, what's, uh, nothing in there. And Ankara. That's it. So the Louvre, the Statue of Zeus, and the Terracotta Army. Which is absolutely wonderful. So, that's perfect, yeah. And, uh, we'll hopefully go ahead and declare war on Rome this episode. We just want to make sure everybody's in position and healed up. As well as our land forces, so we can just jump in here once we take the city. So that we can help push back the Romans up through Eretium and into Nicaea. Or Nicaea. And, uh... All that jazz. Here we go. We do have our worker army coming down here as well. They're all kind of bunched up over here. We're going to try and uh, work on this area. I don't think we need to replace anything. I think we're fine on that end. I just, uh, I think that uh, we need to, you know, make sure the roads are all upgraded to railroads and all that good stuff. Uh, I am going to use my land ship actually over here. I can, what are you upgrading to? The tank? Yes. It's not until another nine turns. I don't think you're going to be useful right now, so I'm just going to sit you on the antiquity site so nobody comes, so that we can actually, you know, go ahead and use it. Right. Uh, marble. For horses. Okay, look, if you weren't my friend, I'd say no, but you know what? Yes, absolutely. I want you to get back on your feet and uh, help me out in the foreseeable future. Es wäre in eurem Interesse... You have no excuse, sir. You have no excuse to not give me that for what I desire. Thank you. Yes, exactly. Thank you, Bismarck. I hope you uh, you help me out in the foreseeable future as well. Now, one of the best things about Mediolanum is, of course, the fact that... Oh, my artillery. Yep, that's a... Thing? <laughs> uh, is the fact that it has uranium. If I can take that away from Rome, I'm going to be one step uh, in the right direction. And also, I didn't even notice this, it has uh, the Grand Mesa. That's perfect. Alright, so this, is, this city is going to be great anyway, because we're going to have a bunch of resources here that are just going to help us in the long run. Of course, the Grand Mesa is basically just a kind of cool thing to have. It doesn't really do much besides give us extra gold and production. But it's a natural wonder, and it's really cool. So, you know what? <laughs> Might as well just uh, incorporate that into the cool reasons why I want to take that city. So, Mavanza Congo is at war against Antonella and Arrivo, which is because... why? Hang on. Oh! The World Congress becomes the United Nations! Really? Alright, the world has entered the Atomic Era, either because half of the civilizations have reached it, or one civilization has reached the era beyond it. I don't see anything suggesting that anybody's reached um, the other era, but uh, could've. The fledgling idea of a permanent peace takes root in the World Congress, which is reborn as the United Nations. A special session is to call... Is to called? Oh, a se special session to... Yeah, wait, what? Is called to choose the host of this powerful new diplomatic force. The United Nations will continue to decide matters as before, but regular sessions will alternate with sessions attempting to choose a world leader, making diplomatic victory possible. Absolutely. So, six delegates for host civilization. Four delegates for other civilizations, two delegates per city-state ally, and uh, we'll get this world leader thing. Okay. Your delegation for an act of host. I wonder who that's going to be. Oh, man. That's great. So, I just realized that in 27 turns, I will be the winner. Because in 27 turns, I will have... Pretty much every city-state in the game. I'll make sure of that. So you know what? Let's have a nice grand old war with Rome and finish off this series. 
Bogus is fine. We have uh, 137. Let's move you over to Valletta. No. On to Narevo. Let's go over here to right there. We can't coup Valletta, sadly, but we'll we'll see about doing that in the future as well. Prague is fine. Let's move you over to... Where's the last uh, place that I need to go? So, Valletta. Genoa. Yes. All right. Let's go there. We have a new policy that we can grab. Let's go ahead and take a look at this stuff. Combat strength of cities increased by 33%. More happiness, of course. That would be great, but we don't really need it. Landmarks and great person improvements produce four... Plus four of the appropriate yield. You know what? Let's do this. I yeah, let's do that. And now, if we take a look at our landmark, they produce 10. <laughs> oh, man. That's crazy. That's a lot of culture right there. All right. We have upgrades. You have Siege 1 and Siege 2, so you might as well grab Siege 3, I think. Yeah, grab the, the top tier right there. Let's move you over to Adern. I don't think you can attack, actually. I'm just noticing that. Actually? How many turns is this? Let's go hex grid. Or tiles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Ah! Oh, <laughs> that is so close. Yep. Yeah, uh, I'm going to move you there anyway. Because if I can move you over uh, after, it's going to be great. Okay. Cool. Artillery. We'll grab, I think, accuracy 3. Yep. And let's move you over here. Okay, destroyers, come on down. We have our flagship. We have our battleships. Okay, there were promotions on these guys, actually, which is pretty cool. Let's get supply. Yeah, we might as well get supply. We have all the ones that we really need, so if we can get if we get supply, that'd be great. And this I thought there was two here. Okay. Lying to me. Let's grab a broadcast tower. Uh, well, no, get a hospital. Just sit tight. Everybody sit tight. We're gonna have you move out in just a few. Next turn, in fact, we should be okay to move uh, out to Mediolanum and actually start this war. Again, we have 27 turds left in this game. That's just absolutely crazy. It really is. Okay, these guys should be healed up soon. We don't need them for the war. We do need these submarines in position, though, because there are some battleships and stuff in here. I think there's battleships. So we'll see about that. What is going... What? What is this? Build that. Okay, intercept. Infantry. Oh my goodness. So many things. Get away! <laughs> I'm done! I have to say, this was uh, one of my favorite Let's Plays so far. I mean... There are, 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 of course, a lot of iconic playthroughs, like uh, my Brazil series, the first series of Brave New World, and the series that basically kickstarted my channel. And that was a lot of fun doing the culture victory and playing around with uh, political mistakes. I made a very big mistake early on by lying to a civilization, and that brought over up until ideologies. It was insane how long that carried. And uh, my standoff with, I think it was Persia and Portugal? Uh, we're just insane as well. So we've gone so far, but this has to be one of my favorite series so far It's just a lot of fun. I mean Germany was fun too, conquesting the world Japan obviously in its own right was fun as well But uh, I, I really like this one. I do and I bet you there will be future series that I like even more than this Hopefully uh, that's one thing that I wanted to talk about as well research agreement completed. Okay, cool was that um uh, chosen, yes, for me as the host. Of course. Failed to support the, uh, the overthrow. Okay, great, so he lost a spy there. And, damn you! Stop it! I will keep taking this back. Get out! You know what? Just for that. Discuss. Oh, can I not denounce you? Have I already done that? Well... Alrighty. Uh, what was I even saying? I don't even know. I just, uh... Oh, yeah, that's, that's what I was talking about. So, I'm thinking about going into different mods. Now, obviously, I've incorporated mods like the Red Mod Pack in these series. 
um, to provide better depth to the game, which is really great. But I think I want to go one step further in the future, obviously, because, I mean, Civilization V has a runtime that's been going on pretty long. And while I still think it, it can uh, go on much farther in vanilla form, I think that it's much better with mods. Much better with mods. So, I will be uh, experimenting with different mods in the future and stuff like that. And uh, actually, one's coming very, very soon that you should... Uh, that you should... I hope you guys would like. It's been requested a couple times by people. So, uh, we'll see how that goes. It's going to be a separate series, of course. It's not going to be uh, taking the place of this one. I will do another series like this after. But, uh, yeah, I want to experiment with different mods. Maybe we can get more resources in the game. More uh, different stuff like that. I will not... See, the one thing that I'm, I, I'm not necessarily for is new civilizations. Because I feel like some that are in the mod workshop are so... They're not well balanced. <laughs> Let's just say that. So it's not um, not something I really want to do. But if there's a good one out there and you guys recommend a civilization, I will take a look at it and uh, go from there. You guys have been great at uh, recommending certain mods. Whoops. And uh, I appreciate that. But uh, yeah, so if you guys could recommend any more mods, that'd be great as well. And I'll take a look. And I'm not going to say that I'm going to promise I'm going to do anything. But... I'll take a look at them and see if I want to incorporate them into the next series or so on and so forth. Byzantium lost its capital. All right, this is not happening. Absolutely not. You're dead, Rome. You just... I want, I want to say that word. You just screwed up. <laughs> you just screwed with the wrong person, all right? Oh. We're coming. We are coming. And you know what's great, actually? If Rome takes out Antioch and then I free Byzantium, they're going to vote for me. Uh, you know, a part of me wants them to take Antioch, and another part just says, I'm going to win anyway, and I don't really care. So, we'll see. But I am definitely declaring war next turn. Or this turn, rather. What are you doing? Get over here. Something. I. Goodness me. You're blocking my uh, my way down. A deal. Coco to Theodora and first. That's alright. That's alright. You'll get them back. Trust me on that one. Let's see, you guys are all set. You're all healed up. Perfect, the war is about to begin. Just need to make sure I can do everything else first. Will anybody come to, uh, to war with me here? Clone. Was nun? Would you like to declare war Forward. on... Augustus? Ah! Ten turns. You know what? I'm going to call you in in ten turns. So ten turns would be uh, four... Oh, three. No, that's not right. Yeah, that's right. God, math. Yeah, 403. Um, that's fine. We'll, we'll definitely call you in at that point. If I can. I'm not sure how that really works. I've never had them say that to me, actually. All right, Lisbon, I know you guys are fighting with the Zulu, yes. but if you guys want to decide to help me here... See? <laughs> Jeez! I have never had them say that before. I feel like... I don't know. That's just amazing. <laughs> I like it a lot. I'm going to declare war anyway. Salud. I don't need them. I just thought it was a good opportunity to ask. So let's go ahead and denounce them. In keep, eh? Wasting my time. I'm wasting my time being nice to you. Active deals from them. 43 gold. 5 gold. Wait, why do I have this? Oh, we were at war once. That's right. Uh, I don't care. I, I really don't care. It's time for war. You've pissed off the wrong people, as I keep stating. Oh, wait. 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 Get over there. Okie dokie. All these random deals were cancelled. I don't really care, like I said. I just want them to die. Rome wasn't allied with anybody, so we actually have... Oh, that's actually perfect. Jerusalem and Bucharest can come in here. I wish there was one up here as well, but can't all be winners. Uh, Manila's joined. All these guys have joined. Well, except for Anton and Arivo. They will soon. All right. Good. And you know what? I'm confident enough that I can just put these guys in the water right now. We do have our huge destroyer army that's kind of backing these guys up. So I am okay with doing this.
Okay, we are fully in the water. The siege has begun. We will start to take down the Zulu. The Zulu. No, the Romans. All right, let's come over here. We're gonna attack the submarine. They are very unhappy. That's wonderful. How unhappy are you? Negative 17. Oh, this is gonna be fun. If this dies, I'm gonna take out the caravel, which it did. Perfect. You have the full wrath of the Dutch coming down on you right now, Rome. How do you feel about that? Alright, I... Okay, these guys actually aren't in the way. I thought they were in the way for a second there, but we're fine. We can actually come in here and just make sure these guys have logistics. Come on down. I'm wondering if I can get away with two attacks. I can get away with one attack each. You know what? Just sit there, and uh, next turn we'll go in. I think. I, I don't want to push it. We're going to be fine. They don't have any resistance over here. I'm just worried about the city attacking. So I'll just wait a turn, and next turn I'll definitely have it anyway. So it's uh, might as well. Oh! Wow! Oh. Oh. Well, it seems that the Zulu were busy. Flanking us. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll deal with everything. Don't worry. We're going to win. We're going to win. <laughs> Who are they allied with? I just want to make sure that if they declare war, we can actually take it away from them. Right, so they're allied with Valletta. Let's take that. No, that's Zanzibar. Valletta. I give a gift. Crap. Crap. Uh, you know what? Just wait a turn. We'll get uh, that extra 60, and then we'll see if we can coup. Okay, you guys can... I don't know, just come up here. We'll leave uh, these guys behind, just so they can block any attack coming in. We'll move these guys up. Alright! As I said before, we are moving in, and we will crush the freaking Romans for what they've done. Defensive pact, absolutely. Again, I'm calling you guys in on uh, 403. Turn 403. Uh, I just noticed it as well, Persia has some land that's kind of... It really shouldn't be their land. Because <laughs> it's like outside, it's it's weird. It's weird how borders work sometimes. Oh right, Cersei, I forgot about that. It's interesting. Oh, now wait a minute. I think the reason the Zulu are down here is because of Antonin and Arivo. Which, I need to save. Oh, how am I going to do that? I could try to buy them out. I think they were Portugal's ally. 53 to surpass Portugal. I can definitely do that. I think I'm going to have to save Antonin and Arivo. I don't want them to die. And if I do this, they might make peace. Oh, let's hope so. No unnecessary casualties to war. I need all the city-states I can to uh, assert myself in this war. I am at 38. I need... Actually, one more city-state would grant me the 41 I need. So, it doesn't really matter. I just... What the f... God damn it. No! Did the Zulu coup it again? Hang on. I'm gonna kill that guy. I swear to god I'm gonna kill that guy. City State of Almaty has given me a, un a new unit, a machine gun. Perfect, let's give you open. And uh, move you to... Uh, Kanya? Sure. The Zulus has now influence... Oh my god, you son of a bitch. I need 51 for this one, we might as well surpass that. Save Antonin and Arivo, and then we'll go after Mavanza Congo after, and then Valletta and all that nonsense. Okay, we have 15 turns left. Really? 15? That... Oh, until the session. Alright, don't confuse me like that. Don't... It's very confused there. Okay, let's do one last round of attacks before we end the episode. And see where we stand.
Mediolanum is ours. They still have Great War Infantry, which is nothing. Absolutely great. Pop up the city and move out. I don't want to risk losing it again to them. We will have these guys in the back come uh, straight up here. Move you there. Come on, everybody up. These guys move a lot faster in the water. <laughs> it's crazy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. Still moving, people. All right. All the destroyers can move up here. We have an aircraft carrier we can move in and take out. Let's go ahead and do that. And essentially, guys, just uh, be on patrol. Take out anything you can if it's... Uh, Zulu... Uh, I keep saying Zulu. Roman. Sorry. Okay. You guys can heal. Might as well. We have submarines moving out. Great. Come on up. Okay. Cool. That's it. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. You can move. Yeah. Uh, might as well. That's not what I want. <laughs> Move up this way. Right, so, again, we have 25 turns until the end of the game, which we will definitely win. Uh, I need one more city-state. Oh, no. 30 from being city-state. I thought that was four per ally. All right, I'm, I'm sorry. It's actually, I need two more city-states. Which are either Valletta, Genoa, or Mabanza Congo. Mabanza Congo is going to be easy for me to take back because I only need seven. In fact, ready for this? We are back as their ally. Let's just take a look here. We have 40 points, so we need one more ally. We can definitely take that from either Valletta or Genoa. We need 76 there, and we need... Whoops. 99 there, which is definitely doable. Anyway, that's for next episode and the rest of the episodes after that. I hope you all enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and definitely stay tuned for more.